this is a quick video to introduce you to Brave Search API. The reason why this product exists is that companies these days are trying to use generative AI as much as possible. For generative AI models, what companies need is a huge data set. The problem these days is that every company is relying on a very small pool of data sets available globally or even locally. So there is not really an edge enjoyed by any company out there. This Brave Search API tries to solve that issue. If your work or your company, company's AI needs require overwhelming data or the large data set, then you really want a data set which is not being used by your competitors. The Brave Search API gives you access to an independent global search index to train large language models and power AI applications across the board. Brave Search is the fastest growing search engine, I would say since Bing, and it is 100% independent from big tech companies, which I believe is a huge advantage. Its index features billions of pages of high quality data from real humans, and it is constantly being refreshed thanks to being default in the Brave browser. So right now on your screen, you can see that I am already logged in to Brave Search API's website. You can create your free login there. One thing which is a bit disappointing after logging in is that there is no way to try it out. If you go to main page again, you would you will see that it says try Brave Search API. I go there, I have logged in, and then after signing up, of course, and verifying my email, then I can't do anything. If you go to API keys on the left hand side, if you try to add any API key, nothing happens. So it seems that they would they want you to first subscribe. So click on subscription button, which is fine. I'm happy to subscribe before um, you know to try it out before I buy anything. As you can see, even the free subscription need you to enter your credit card. Now I'm very apprehensive about adding my own credit card information to a product which has just uh, been, you know, uh, it is still evolving, it is very new. Uh, I'm not really questioning their integrity, but I'm very apprehensive about using my credit card information just to try this thing out. So uh, but once you click on subscribe, it asks you to accept their terms and condition, then it takes you to enter your credit card, which is a big no-no. So uh, it's very disappointing, I would say. Anyway, having said that, I hope that they fix it if they are watching this video. Now, these are the normal plans. And if you look at it, I think the pricing is quite reasonable. Thousand requests, $3, thousand requests for the pro one, which 50 requests, simultaneous requests per second, which is great. And if you go to A plans, again, uh, you need credit card for the free account, but for the base A Pro A, then it starts becoming a bit expensive. And if you go to data plan, which is, I think, the Mega Pro Data One, where you have a lot of um, advantage, I think unlimited request is good. Maybe this is what companies would be using once they are comfortable with this tool. Anyway, um, if you go through its documentation on their website, it is quite well written. Especially, I like the way they have described their um, Brave Web Search API and also the Suggest Search API with the endpoint in the text format and also through the curl command with the encoding and all that stuff. But you would need your API key for that, of course. I have also tried it out in Postman. Nothing happens because I don't have the API key to, to be sent to this. Anyway, uh, and yes, sorry, I forgot to mention this spell check. This is also pretty nice, but we need to really try it out to see how it works. So, but if you think this is something your organization or company will be interested in, then feel free to log in and try it out. Um, but you would need, of course, your credit card for it. I hope that they remove that um, condition and just maybe restrict the search API then limit the number of requests, it would be awesome. Thank you very much.